Now we're on exercise number eight. And again, we'll follow, we'll go from left to right. There's no ST elevation in lead two or lead three or ABF. Uh, when we look at the anterior septal leads, we have ST elevation in V1. We have ST elevation in V2. Uh, we have ST elevation in V3. Uh, but interestingly, we don't have ST elevation in V4. Now, what we do have, what appears to be um, hyperacute T waves, you'll recall we talked about those in a previous presentation, where if you have really tall, rounded T waves, unlike the tall, peaked T waves like we see in hyperkalemia, that may be suggestive of MI. So uh, we don't have ST elevation there, but we may be headed that way. There's no ST elevation in V5. There's no ST elevation in V6. If anything, there's a little bit of ST depression, and we don't see it in one in AVL. Uh, so technically, the criteria for an anterior wall MI is ST elevation in V3, V4. Because we don't see it in V4, we can't say this is an anterior wall MI. All we can say is that this is a septal MI. Right? So this is a, a septal. Let me write this down here. Oops. Excuse the line there. So that's a septal wall MI.